Thank you, guys. Thank you, thank you for the opportunity to talk about this fascinating project. Had the chance to to watch it with my family, uh, laugh, cry, love your music, love your work. I even have some with me here. Uh, so. Yay. <laughs> Awesome. Thank you for your music and your talent. And thank you, Zuleika, for being his muse and for being such an, a, an extraordinary human being. So, ladies first, let me start with you, Zuleika. Um, when you were uh, presented with the opportunity to expose your life to the world uh, and at a time when you were going through a, a dark, bittersweet moment, how did you react it and, and what did you not want them to explore or to expose? Hmm. You know, when you're in a dark period in your life, the instinct is to retreat, not to share. Um, but I know from, you know, the sense of isolation that I felt in my hardest moments, how important it is to share those unvarnished stories of vulnerability. And so there were lots of moments where, uh, you know, my instinct was not to have a camera there. Um, mm -hmm. I also, knew that it was important to show those moments mm -hmm. to offer what I hope will be a sense of companionship to anyone else who's experiencing their own big life interrupted moment who is figuring out to survive and maybe feeling alone within that journey and so that bigger why was what allowed me to move past my own hesitations and to open up our lives to the camera Excellent. Thank you for that, uh, I'm Mr. Baptiste. Uh, uh, I, I'm uh, as a husband who seven years ago, when my daughter was two, had to face my wife's uh, breast cancer diagnosis. You, you feel the you, you feel the the whole world it, it sh shaking up. So, what, what was it like to make the decision to to balance to continue with your work routine and not send everything to help and to be there with her? What was that specific moment that made you like decide to balance your your life? Uh, uh, with your work hmm. believing that this is supposed to happen and that there's a purpose for everything moving through life with faith and having my faith guide my life prepares me for moments where I have to show up in faith if you are watering that and giving that life throughout the times where you don't have to rely so much on that. Then when you have to, it becomes much, much more of a, um, of an option. Mm -hmm. so I'm grateful for faith. Excellent. Thank you for that. So, so like, uh, um, 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 what, how, how do you think has your life changed after watching this, this project? It's hard for me to believe when I watched the film that this was only, you know, a, a year ago, uh, a mm -hmm. year and a half ago. Mm -hmm. And so it's hard for me to watch those scenes, especially when I'm in the hospital. It's hard for me to see John in his private moments of struggle and suffering. But what it makes me think um, is that life is always in flux and there's a comfort in that because when you're going through a difficult period, you know that it's not going to be a difficult period forever. There's an ebb and a flow. Um, and I think seeing how much has changed in the last year and a half, how much stronger I feel, um, how much uh, we feel alive um, really gives me an appreciation for the tenacity and the resilience of the human spirit. <laughs> Thank you. Beautiful, beautiful. So, Mr. Batiste, uh, music can be liberating, healing, but at the same time can, can aggravate any any depression or any emotion. How were you how, how were you able to to cope with keeping or maintaining your, your creative process while while dealing with this uh, sensitive uh, personal situation, and how was your collaboration with Matthew, the director, to bring this the, this this moment in your life to to the screen? The compartmentalization is the key. Putting your mind in the present every time you're in a moment, sticking in that moment as much as possible. It's like building a muscle, the muscle of being present, and you do you do it through these times, and it really is a time of transformation in your life. You really. Is, you realize how much the present is all we have. And Matt, you know, he's a great filmmaker because he's able to really embed. He has 1,500 hours of footage. 
he's embedded with us. He's there. And it's it's hard. It's really hard to have somebody who was in there like that. But also it was great to have these moments where you hear in the film where I'm talking. That's not a script. That's yeah. our conversations that Matt and I had almost at the end of every other day. He would say, you know, we haven't spoken in a while and we have these conversations processing everything that was happening instead of doing an interview he would just you know we, we would be talking and i would either be falling asleep or i would be on the in the car on the way somewhere and um those are great ways as well to work with a filmmaker because you're processing it together in real time excellent thank you for that and thank you again my time is up thank you for such a beautiful moving film thank you for your humility and your talent and again lots of help from puerto rico thank you thank you again guys